Alright guys. I'm gonna try to walk back here and slip into the stand. It's October 1st. It's opening night here in Iowa's deer season. There was a doe back here a little bit ago. Try to slip into the cedar tree that I hung a stand in two days ago. I'm going to slip up here and see if I see any deer in the food plot. It's, it's about 5.15. Hopefully I can get in there without bumping anything. settled in here and uh, there was a doe and fawn out here on the field and uh, I just scared them off just bumped them off and uh, they just kind of ran down into the woods a little ways and stopped so I don't think I did much damage uh, I'm about 100 150 yards back behind the house and hunting small property can be difficult, but it can also have its advantages. And one of those advantages is the deer get used to, somewhat used to people. I mean, they still know when they're being hunted. They'll still wind you and blow, but they're a little more tolerant of getting bumped. And so, um, kind of the way I've done it is these does were out here, and so I just bumped them off and, uh, didn't try to sneak in, just kind of bumped them off. They ran back in there. I wouldn't be surprised if they come back out. So, we'll see what happens. It's October 1st. This is my first uh, hunt of the year here in Iowa. And I'll tell you what, um, I don't expect it, but if it's anything like my first hunt in Missouri, it should be a good night. Um, this food plot out in front of me is looking pretty good. Hopefully it has about another month of growing and, and we should have a really, really good food plot here. So I'm just going to settle in and uh, have a good night. The spot I'm sitting in, I'm only probably four feet off the ground. I'm in this uh, pretty big, thick cedar tree. I came out here about two days ago and uh, hung my stand in here, kind of brushed it in. And I love hunting out of these cedar trees because... You can be low to the ground, you got good cover, you can get away with a uh, decent amount of movement. And uh, they're just fun to hunt out of. So if you have cedar trees, don't overlook them. Um, you got to do a little cutting, but anything you cut out, you can place out in front of you. And I got my bow sitting right here in front of me on the branches. So I don't have to have a bow hanger or anything. Um, it's just sitting here in front of me where I can just grab it. And uh, it's a. Uh, Cold front moved in last night. It's only like 50 degrees today. Got a north wind, which is blowing it back behind me. Perfect. And these deer fall right through here, 20, 25 yards. So hopefully a big boy comes through here. There's one buck that's about four years old. I only have two cameras up by the house, and I've seen this buck. It's the buck. It's the buck I call the garden buck. He was on the eating my beans off the garden. Um few weeks ago, but I've seen him out here a couple times in daylight, and I just don't know if I'm going to shoot him or not, I have to get a better look at him out here, but I know there's some good bucks in the area, so let's enjoy the night. Alright, it's day four. 
my first morning hunt. It's October 5th. I've been out two times in Missouri, which you saw those hunts. One afternoon here in Iowa, opening day. Which I saw lots of does. And now I'm out for my first morning hunt. I mainly wanted to come down to this stand I hung it last week. And I want to put a safety line in it this morning after my hunt. But it's on the back side of this ridge. We got a south wind. And there's a bunch of trails that meet right here. I think this spot's going to be really, really good during the rut. We're going to sit in here for a couple hours this morning and, uh, and see what happens. So. Good morning so far. I had that nice nine pointer, probably a ten pointer come through. That buck's only three. And uh, he was here last year. And I get, uh, I actually see this deer. I've seen him quite a few times, so I think he pretty much stays, stays around here. Uh, but man, what, he just came in perfect beautiful buck. I think he's going to be a really nice one if he makes it next year. And I just know there's bigger bucks in the area. Had uh, two does come through. They, they were literally blow my stand for probably 30-40 minutes. And then another doe came in off this hill and she winded me so it actually worked kind of good. They, she just kind of got spooky and ran off and then the other deer just kind of ran off into the further into the woods so I'm probably gonna sit here about another 20 minutes and then I'm gonna put my safe line in the tree and then I'm gonna get out of here I got a bunch of work I got to get done today so all right it's nine o'clock so that's gonna wrap up day number four of my season we'll keep you updated on the progress not sure when I'm gonna get out again it's gonna be 75 80 all week Gonna really push hard to get uh, everything done in my house so they can drywall here soon. So when the rut gets here, I can be in a tree all day. So, so appreciate you guys watching. 
and we will catch you on the next video.